In this video today, I will show you how to edit your photo in iPhoto. To begin, you should have a folder on your drive with your photos. What you can do when you have the photo of your choice, you can click on the photo and drag it to your desktop to download it. Or if that doesn't work, right click and hit download. When it downloads, you can then drag it to your desktop so it's easy to locate. What we want to do is edit our photo in iPhoto. So if you go to Photos, that is the app, and you go File, Import, and on the desktop you will find your image. So I have now uploaded my picture into iPhoto. If you double click on the photo, it will bring it into the full size. And if you click this button up top with the different dials, this will allow you to edit the photo. So what you can go through on the side is go through some of the different functions. And for example, if you want to crop your photo, you can rotate it if you need to straighten it out. You can rotate it here, 90 degrees. You can add different enhancements to it at the top. You can fix different spots on it. You can add, adjust the light or the color. What I want to do today is I want to go to the filter section and add a black and white filter uh, to create a black and white photo for my project. So there's three different black and white filters that I can choose from on this app and I'm going to choose the mono one. When I click done, then I have the picture saved. And what I can do is drag it onto the desktop to save it. What you can do is you can rename the pictures if you right click. So I'm going to name the original one original. And I'm going to rename this one black and white. So when you submit your project, you should have two photos, a color one and a black and white photo. You can edit the color one as well. So if you need to crop it, you can crop it. Or if you need to change um, any of the lighting or the coloring on it, you can as well. Once you are done with the black and white and the color photo, what you can do is then highlight them and drag them back onto your drive. and they will be uploaded. What you can then do is then share the folder with me so I have it for marking and then hit send. 